Hi everybody, welcome back to Pete's Plastic Playground. I think it's been about three or four weeks since I last checked in and said hello, so uh, it's good to be back. Um, Easter, it's Easter Sunday, and uh, I hope everybody's having a nice break from work and uh, spending some uh, some valuable time at the workbench over this uh, over this holiday period. Um, I've been fairly busy on and off uh, doing a bit of uh, building. Um, you may remember that I was building a Lancaster that was taking well over a year. Well, finally, it's finished and it's in a diorama and um, I'm not unhappy with it, if I'm brutally honest. Um, there's one thing that I'm going to have to change. Um, those of you that have built the Airfix or any Lancaster will know that there are walkway guidelines on the wings. And unfortunately, um, I use the Airfix decals. Sorry, I've got a bit of light in my glasses. Now to lift the glasses off. Um, I, I I use the decals that um, that set out these um, these walkway guidelines, and unfortunately, the decals, despite the fact that I use Microsole and Microset, um, the decals actually um, have gone silvery on the backing of them. So I'm going to have to take those off. And I'm actually going to paint the lines on, um, mask it off and paint them, and I'll just keep the um, keep the tiny decals with the text, just to um, just to make that uh, look a bit better. But I'll show it to you in a minute. And also, um, running alongside that build, I've had the Vospa motor torpedo boat, and that's nearing completion now actually, and that's um, that's been a pretty good build. Um, I. Uh, I've had those two running side by side, which I don't usually do. I'm usually one just to build one kit and um, from start to finish and enjoy it. Whereas actually having these two on the go has been a bit of a drain, actually, because um, it's been, I don't know, it's just sort of sapped my, um, sapped my enthusiasm one way or another. So um, uh, new kit wise, I think um, I've seen you since the Dam Busters Lancaster came with the um, with the coin, I've, I've done that one. Um, the only other one that's come, my son, bless him, sent me this, the Mozzie, uh, the photo reconnaissance Mozzie. So I'm going to do the uh, do this fairly soon. I quite fancy doing this one and the newly tooled um, bomber version of the Mosquito as well. So I might do a sort of tandem build of Mosquitoes, but I'm looking forward to getting stuck into those because... Um, you know they seem to have been fairly well put together and uh, promised to be a pleasure to build even though you've got to paint your own invasion stripes on but I don't mind doing that I've done it before I did it on um, I did it on the 148 scale mosquito coincidentally and I was quite happy with the results um, I'm gonna also um, add in to the end of this video um, a short clip of a recent visit that I made to a really good model shop in Hampshire in a little town called Alton. Uh, it's where the Watercrest line is actually. Um, there's Alton Model Centre. It's well worth a visit um, and with the kind permission of the owner I just waved the camera around quietly and um, I'll see if I can uh, tack that on to the end of this video. If I can't do it on this one I'll certainly do it very very soon. Just that I might need my son's help to edit my voice over onto it. But, um, there we are. Um, talking to kids, I've earned today's time in the uh, man cave because yesterday I went to Insomnia. It's um, it's a, a gaming festival at the NEC, and um, interestingly, among all the sort of Nintendo Switch stands and Sony Playstations and Pokemon this that and the other and everything to do with gaming you could ever imagine, which my my son and his mate were completely immersed in. Um, the army were there and with them they had a, um, a, a, a a gazelle helicopter which you could um you could sit in and get up close to and study and so um so that was interesting and they also had a, a helicopter simulator where you sat in a gaming chair and you had a collective stick by your side and a and a joystick and I did actually successfully manage to get this helicopter off the ground up and around the airfield and back down again without hurting it so that was um that was good fun 
something for the dads while the kids were off uh, enjoying themselves around the exhibition. So um, that was uh, that was yesterday. It was a long, hard day out on um, Saturday the 8th, but uh, I've had today in the garage and I've made a fair bit of progress on this Vosper motor torpedo boat. So what I've done today, and I'll show you in a minute, is there are there are endless, endless fixtures and fittings to go on the on the deck of this thing. So there are air vents, um, combustion vents for the engine, um, the torpedo tubes, machine gun mountings, machine guns, various masks, various um, you know kind of uh, um, guardrail posts and so on and so forth flagpoles goodness knows what else so i've been doing that today and actually really enjoying it um i brought some vallejo wash and i've been sort of putting that on the deck to grubby it down a bit and that's been quite good fun um i've still got to do the main antenna for the um for the radio mast on the ship and i will have a go at doing the rigging as well because i think it's um it finishes the model off nicely when i did my Voss, uh, not Voss, when I did my RAF rescue launch, I did the rigging on that actually. And um, and it hasn't sagged. And it's a good few years ago. I'm looking up at it on the shelf actually. And it hasn't sagged down despite the fact that it's um, it's a few years old now anyway. So um, so yes, I'm going to do the uh, do the rigging on the Vosper motor torpedo boat. So um, I think what I'll do now is stop talking and uh, t turn the camera around and show you a couple of bits and pieces. Okay, so here we are, starting off with the Lancaster. I've moved it onto a uh, onto a photo frame with some grass on it, and uh, I put that um, tractor and bomb load from the Sterling that I made a few years ago. I saved it and made it recently, so I've put that on, and then some um, some figures from the RAF set. There's a um, an airman, an RAF officer, and a uh, a woman's Royal Air Force officer stood there having a chin wag. She's standing in a puddle of super glue, actually, which I'm going to have to paint down. <laughs> so, anyway, she won't be going anywhere in a hurry. Um, but I'm happy with this. I've um, I've taken a good few photographs of it, posted it on Facebook um, here, there, and everywhere. But the um, the bomber was good to build, but as you can see, the the silvering under the decal is quite disappointing, and I've probably overdone the um, overdone the weathering from the engines as well. Um, first real attempt at doing it on the Lancaster. But yeah, the decals for those walkways are, are really poor. Very disappointed by that. But on the whole, the appearance is great. I'm quite happy with it, and uh, and so. So that's my Lancaster that took took so so long to build for some reason. I don't know why. And then there's the MTB behind it. So the torpedo tubes are in. The Orlikan, I think you've seen before on the front. Uh, there's loads and loads of touching up still to do, and I've I've got to finish doing the window around the uh, around the top of the bridge and um loads of bits to touch in i've got to paint the masts paint those um cleats i think they're called aren't they where you put the uh put the ropes around i've got to touch those in and i will put guardrail wire up and i will do the the um the rigging for the mast as i say and um and make it look as good as i possibly can so there's a little look inside some decent figures with this as well. There's a there's a couple of guys to go in the bridge, and there's a um, couple of um, blokes posing on the machine gun. So uh, I was quite surprised. It seemed to indicate that there has to be a spare capstan wheel after the um, after the sort of engine covers. So I don't know why that is. I don't know why they would carry a spare capstan wheel, but um, that's what it suggested to me. But I've done no research on that at all so uh, i've just kind of done what it said in the instructions but there there she is the mtb um the box it's in is going to form the sea and again i'm going to try and replicate the uh the, the box art and have the ship um you know kind of speeding through the waves if i can if i can achieve that um this was a nice box of chocolates that um 
that my wife had and we helped her finish off the box of chocolates cho the, uh, the chocolates inside the box so that I could keep the box for this very purpose so um, yeah yeah so there we are and there again is the um, is the mozzie I'll just with the uh, Ugh, I'm doing this one-handed. Actually, no, I won't do that because it's stupid trying to do it while I'm holding the camera. So, um, yeah, so there it is, the mozzie, and uh, there's the little view of my desk. That's where I spent most of today doing bits and pieces. And, uh, yeah, happy days. Had the old Hornby running a little bit today as well. I've had my high mech on there. This is a Helljan high mech. It's very very smooth as you can see I do like a western region diesel hydraulic <laughs> there isn't that smooth beautiful loco I've had that a few years now going to have to get it dirty one day I think and uh, and weather it a little bit perhaps so um, yeah Oh, I know what I've been meaning to say to you. You know, I did all this what's in the box, this, that and the other. Well, I've, I've never ventured into my top drawer. So I think on another occasion, um, there's a few old kits in that top drawer. So we'll have a closer look at that next time. So, uh, right, I'm going to see if I can stitch this um, Alton Model Centre video on to the end. And uh, then that will uh, that will just about do us. So anyway, hope everybody is okay. And um, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you again at the end. Cheers. Visit Alton Model Centre recently. It's a great shop. There's so much in there for any modeler. From kits, as you're able to see now, to paints, consumables, tools, scenic materials. You name it, they've got it in there. The prices are good. And everything's labelled so you can see how much everything's going to be. The um, the service is good. Um, I met the owner of the shop and um, he was very, very friendly, very helpful, very kind and allowed me to make this video. Uh, there's a good selection of kits in there from Airfix. As you can see, there's some vintage ships and some armour. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of model railway stuff as well. So if you're into model railways, it's the place to be. Um, there are kits from other manufacturers as well as Airfix. Uh, there's Revel. There's a lot of Tamiya armour, as you'll see later on. And um, everything's sort of dispersed around the shop. There are, there are sort of three main rooms, I suppose. Um, the, uh, as you go in, there's the main shop. Then there's a, the, the area that we're in now, which is predominantly model railways, but with a few starter sets up on the ceiling hanging down. Um, lots of railway related plastic kits and um, there look there's a load of grass materials and um, uh, trees bushes grass all that sort of thing is there uh, there's plenty of paint available from Humbro and um, that make there which I don't recognize <laughs> um, there's uh, there's Vallejo and um, Tamiya paint as well and lots of plastic hard for scratch building and so on and so forth. Plenty of tools, loads and loads and loads of model railway stuff. And um, I think we're um, coming up to the armor section now. So there's some Tamiya and um, uh, Airfix armor there as well. Loads and loads of books, more and more paints and um, really well worth a visit. You can park outside on the street or there's a small car park nearby Autumn Model Centre, highly recommended by Pete's Plastic Playground. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the look around the model shop. It really is um, worth a visit if you are in the Hampshire area. Um, Alton is on the A31 between um, between Farnham and Winchester so um, if you're in the south of England and uh, fancy bobbing in there it's well worth it so um, right I think that's about it from me now so um, next time I'll do a little look in that drawer of, um, of old kits so we can see what we can find in there and um, 
also will be a step nearer to the Anson coming out as well. Not, uh, sorry, not the Anson. What am I talking about? The Anson has been out for months. Um, the um, uh, the Gannet is what I'm thinking of. The Gannet um, won't be long. And uh, I'm also I'm going to try and pick up one of those Airfix F35 Lightnings as well. I know they're only a very basic starter kit, but it's um it's I think it's a great little subject to um to have a go at. And uh, by all accounts, it uh, it seems to be quite a good model. So um that uh, that would be something to look forward to. So from Pete's Plastic Playground, with best wishes to you all. Um, nice to say that I'm around about the thousand subscribers mark. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, not, not sort of here to count the numbers, but it's very flattering. And I, I did think to myself the other day that if all of my subscribers were in the same room, that would be quite an audience. So anyway, from, uh, from my workbench to yours and from, uh, me and my family to you and your family, happy Easter and, um, look after yourselves, take care. And until next time from Pete's Plastic Playground, bye for now. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye.